What the fuck is this piece of shit? Yo, YouTube, what's going on, Fight Fans from all over the world? What's going on? It's your boy, me, Chris, the host of Boxing with Chris. And man, if it's your first time here, make sure you do the right thing. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tune in to the work. And I'm back. And you know when I'm back, I'm back to talk some boxing. We got some, I want to say, unfortunate, unpatient news by the IBF. We know the IBF has been waiting for their mandatory to be served since Errol Spence was the IBF champion. We know no Errol... We know now Terrence Crawford, after beating Earl Spence, he's the undisputed champion. We know Jerome Boots Ennis was the interim champion last fourth, July 8th of this year when he stopped Roman Villa. And Terrence Crawford has been stripped and he has been upgraded to the full champion. And like I said, I keep that same energy with everybody. I keep that same temperature. We got to keep it eight more than 92. The same way I say e um, Tim Zhu is an email champ. You know, I don't like people being promoted. The number one of the two guys in that sanctioning body should always fight for the vacant title. I don't believe in just promoting a guy to promote him. I know that the IBF has been claiming that Errol Spence didn't suffice some mandatory since Ocampo, and that's when I, that was more than three years ago. And But Terrence Crawford just became champion July 29th. He hasn't even been champion for a whole year, not barely six months. So... It's very unfortunate. I don't think he was ever ducking Jerome Boutsenis because he clearly stated before this fight that 147 has been tough for him, but some time that he stood for Errol Spence. And Errol Spence also said the same thing about him. He only stood for Terrence Crawford. Um, I don't like it, not at all, you know, but it is what it is. Terrence Crawford really doesn't seem too phased by it. Um, I get it. They wanted him to suffice the mandatory, but there was a contractual obligation. So even if the immediate rematch would have been done right away between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, which hasn't been made, they probably would have applied this rule. And things that, you know, I get it. You want, you want people to suffice the mandatories, but sometimes it doesn't happen right away. But it is what it is. Gerard Ennis is now the IBF welterweight champion of the world. Terrence Crawford is the unified welterweight champion of the world which most likely he will vacate and move up to junior middleweight 154 never know it gets kind of interesting but it is unfortunate and jaron ennis one of my favorite fighters i'm pretty sure that he wanted to do it the old school way he wanted to beat the champ or at least fight somebody for the vacant title you never just want to be promoted you get what i'm saying but it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Should we just keep promoting fighters so there should be at least fights for vacant titles? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. It's your boy Chris from Boxing with Chris. Y'all know what to do. Keep it a more than 92. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.